Welcome to Upload Fitness, where we make fitness simple so you can live the fit and healthy life you deserve. Today we're going to learn the cable tricep extension. Great movement for the back of your arms here for your triceps, probably somewhere after you've done some other compound pressing movements. Um, so we're going to learn this here. We already have the rope attached. You can do this with a straight bar as well. Excellent, excellent exercise with a straight bar. Any attachment where you're going to be pretty much shorter with is totally okay. Now I will say this is a little bit separate from what we call push down where you're a little bit on top of the movement. So we're going to stay a little bit more upright, but you probably don't need to worry about that too awful much. We have the set all the way at the top. So this is clear up at the top. We have our weight selected, something that we can handle. So Maddie's gonna go ahead and step in here and she's just gonna grab a hold of it and get some tension on the rope. So take a half step back right there. And then that way, when she comes all the way up and she's flexed, see the elbows are fully flexed here. This weight is not resting on the bottom. If she was all the way forward, it would be touching and then we're robbing ourselves at the end of each rep. So we're gonna step back just a little bit and uh, take a little baby step back here for me. And then we have the chest up nice and tall. We're gonna hinge forward just a little bit. So we're gonna bring the upper body forward just a tiny bit. You'll see that stretches the back of the arm as we do that. That's a good thing. So we have the rope in our hands now. We're gonna take the shoulders, roll them around our body. We're gonna squeeze this part of our back. That's gonna create stability for this tricep, which attaches here in the shoulder. So if we're squeezing all these muscles right here, this cannot leak out some of the tension from this weight through our neck and all this stuff. So it's going to stay right between these two points, which is exactly where we want it. So that's important. A little bit of a hinge forward. We're squeezing our back here really super aggressively and we're sending the shoulders down. Sending the shoulders down also engages those muscles and it doesn't allow them to hike up and roll forward and do some funny stuff during this exercise. So what Madison's gonna do now, she's going to start pushing down on this rope without leaning far forward and getting on top of it. And the elbows, as you see, are not moving. A lot of times when this weight's too heavy, we let them kind of come forward and up and we send it down super hard. We're doing a kind of extension this way. She's staying super tight. The less that these elbows move, the better of an exercise you are going to have. So again, she's keeping her posture up nice and tall. She's squeezing with her back here. She's keeping her shoulders down. Show us a bad tricep extension where we let the shoulders come forward too much or the elbows. So the elbows come forward. That's all momentum. That's actually your back doing this, not your triceps. So if you want some good looking arms like this, you're going to have to stay super stable. So show us a couple more good ones. Chest up super tall, shoulders are around the body and down, and this is not moving. There is, we can see an imaginary axle going through your body on both of the elbows that they are rotating around and no extra movement all on the tricep here. And that's it. That is your tricep extension. If you want to know where this fits into your workout plan, you can download free ones from Uplift Fitness or Hyo.com or click the button below this video so you can have confident and effective workouts.